Battlefield 4 is the latest iteration in the long line. Oh shit, can we start again? Mm. Battlefield Hardline is the latest iteration in the decades old Battlefield series. The first Battlefield game, Battlefield, originally came out in 1980 something on the Atari Jaguar. As you can see, Battlefield was an instant classic, making running around on Wake Island shooting all the World War II's a great and fun thing to do. But most gamers' first experience with the Battlefield series was Battlefield 1964 on the Nintendo 64. It was one of the most popular multiplayer games on the N64 at the time and it's partially responsible for starting the whole game modding scene. Battlefield Desert Combat on the Nintendo 64 became even more popular than the original Battlefield 1964, despite it just being a mod. Eventually there were a few more games, and there were some games no one cared about, and... And that brings us up to today with Battlefield Hardline. But can Battlefield Hardline live up to this vast history of Battlefield games that span decades? Let's find out. In this Battlefield, you're not going around shooting all the Hitlers in the face. You're also not going to the desert to shoot all the desert combats that you can find out there. Holy we're going to a different yeah. and new place this time. Instead of all that, we're just going to hang out here in the good old US of A and we're going to shoot all the criminal bad guys with our police guns. The story in Battlefield Hardlines goes like this. You're on the school bus with all your prisoner friends and you're going to jail. See, this guy's going to jail because... He spit on the sidewalk, and this guy's going to jail because he was smoking weed in his house, and... And then there's you, the main character. You're going to jail because you said online that video game developers and journalists should have some integrity. But riding the bus is boring, so instead you close your eyes and you pretend that you're a cool cop too and you're breaking into people's apartments for playing cards and smoking drugs and jumping out the window, and then you're saving the whole city with your cool car and guns. You do a great job. A great job. Idiot! What kind of screwed up farting style was that? You call yourself a cop? Look around you! You didn't protect a damn thing! Your most useful weapon in the single player campaign mode is gonna be your big ol' shiny police badge. You just wave that thing in the direction of any criminal mastermind you find and he's gonna be hitting on the floor and dying. It's truly a deadly brutal weapon. Uh. You can just see the fear in their eyes. Please don't show me your badge. I'm sorry. Every mission in Battlefield Hardlines ends like you just finished watching a show on Netflix. It starts counting down for the next mission, and I try to click away so I can watch the latest episode of my favorite Netflix original series, but it doesn't work. You're trapped in playing Battlefield Hardlines for as long as you're looking at the computer screen. What the hell, EA? I'll have you know, this is a legitimate, paid-for Netflix account that I stole from my ex-girlfriend. I should be able to watch all the latest episodes of whatever the hell I want. I'm writing to your Twitter right now. After you throw the single-player disc in the garbage, it's time to boot up into multiplayer. Battlefield Hardline has no shortage of multiplayer modes that you can play. You've got the mode where you go around killing all the guys on the other team, and you got that other slightly different mode where you're going around and you're killing all the guys on the other team, and then you got the mode where you gotta protect the flag, which is actually a car this time, and you gotta like capture it and protect it, but everyone just ignores the objective and just kills all the bad guys on the other team. All the modes you could want. But my favorite mode in Battlefield Hardline has to be the realism mode. In this mode, all the cops are armed with thousands of bazookas and grenades, and the criminals are just riding in their car to Taco Bell to get something for dinner. As the cops, it's up to you to pull them over, find a reason to arrest them, and murder them with your guns. Put on your $200 headsets and start your illegal betting, because Battlefield Hardline includes game modes specifically tailored for esports. These special 5v5 modes pit two tightly woven teams against each other while they try to capture <laughs> I'm sorry. They think people are going to play this game competitively for money. <laughs> for your money, Battlefield Hardline comes with a whole bunch of stages. You got nine whole maps to play.
play on. You got a map that looks like a part of that big city map from Battlefield 4, and a another map that looks like it's also a, a bit taken from that big city map in Battlefield 4, and you also got one that takes place in good old Iraq, California. It is a wide variety of maps here. There's a lot going on in these multiplayer modes, so it's really important that you're able to keep track of everything with the heads-up display. And Battlefield Hardline is a great job letting you know everything that's going... To... Wait! No, wait! Stop! I, I can't see! I'm trying to fly the helicopter! Stop! I'm the policeman! One important thing to keep in mind is you can't buy Battlefield Hardline on Steam. It's not sold there. Instead, you gotta go buy it on Origin. Now, personally, I like having two separate places where I keep my games. You know, Steam is kind of like my, my shelf with all, all of my video games on there, and I put them there, and I, I just catch dust and I never do anything with them usually. And then Origin is like my trash can. Now, you could buy this Battlefield 4 expansion pack retail standalone game for the traditional $59.99 at Origin, but for just 50 something dollars, you can buy Battlefield Premium. Now, this nets you a whole bunch of unique exclusive features, like after you level up all the way in multiplayer you can level up all over again just like you can in Call of Duty except it's free over there and you can customize how your guns look and track the kills per weapon just like you can do for free in Call of Duty and you get these cool masks give you extra abilities that all those poor peasants who bought the original version can't have and you get all these expansion wow. packs and double XP and free Mountain Dew and a big bunch of gold to spend on all your unlocking your your crates and Team Fortress 2 and look the point I'm trying to make is if you don't run out right now and spend $119.98 on this video game you must be some kind of idiot look you could drive a, a sofa couch in this game you can drive it all the way back to GameStop to get your money back now, if you can't afford $120 and you have to, like, spend that on food or something, then you're probably one of those people who still just have, like, an Xbox 360 instead of a next-gen console. Don't worry, there you have a version for the Xbox 360 out as well. As you can see, it looks just as good as the next-gen versions. Like, maybe the resolution is a little lower than what you'd expect, but it's still perfectly playable. Now, if you are one of those big boys with an Xbox One or PlayStation 4, you're getting a great high-res experience here. Like, if if you squint your eyes and you look through your fingers and you get really close to the screen, you can't even tell that they broke their 1080p promises and are running at 720p on the Xbox One and 900p on the PS4. It's truly an almost next-gen experience, if you're an idiot. Overall, Battlefield Hardline must be a great game and I'm probably glad to own it. I say this because I see a lot of commercials and GameStop and IGN run a lot of stories on it. So it's probably a great video game. That's that's what they told me. That's what they keep telling me. It's They wouldn't lie to me. They wouldn't lie to me. They spent a lot of money to tell me that. I saw the E3. Why were they playing Battlefield on the roof of a building? What's your name? Your name.